Eight facts about Satan you need to know. Number one, Satan is God's opponent, not God's opposite. Sometimes people mistakenly believe that Satan is God's evil equal. This is simply not true. Satan is not omnipresent. He can't be present everywhere at the same time. Along with that, he is not omnipotent. While he does have power and is truly powerful, he is not all-powerful. There are limits to his power and ability. You should also note that he is not omniscient. He may know a lot, but he does not know everything. He is not equivalent with God. As God would say it, remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Isaiah 46, 9, 10. Number two, Satan is a liar. Look at what Jesus said about Satan in John 8, 44. Satan only speaks one language, the language of lies. In fact, he is incapable of speaking truth because as Jesus said, there is no truth in him. Everything about his influence on this earth is all about lying. It started with Adam and Eve in the garden and it continues now. Number three, Satan is a deceiver. This great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Revelation 12, 9, number four, Satan mimics what God does. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11.14 Everything that God does, especially the work of the Holy Spirit, Satan tries to mimic. Number 5. Satan had a glorious past, but his judgment is certain. You can read the story of Satan's past in Isaiah 14.12, 14, 12, 14 and Ezekiel 28, 13, 19. He was beautiful, but it went to his head. This pride got him kicked out of heaven. Maybe this is the reason why God hates pride so much. Despite his glorious past, what awaits Satan is eternal judgment. Number six, Satan is a thief. Satan is that he is very singular in his motives. His first desire is to rob you of eternal life by keeping you from understanding the truth of the gospel. He does not want people to really know the truth of who Jesus is and turn to him for salvation. Number seven, Satan is the God of this world. Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. 2 Corinthians 4, 4, NLT. Number 8. Satan only defeats you if you allow him to. You have power over Satan's influence on you. Despite all his power and trickery, despite his ability to mimic and deceive, remember, Satan can attack. He can wage war against you. He can bring all the forces of darkness against you, but he can't overtake you unless you allow it. Remember what God has told you. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. You have rights. You have power. You have authority. God has positioned you on the earth for this exact moment in time. He has equipped you and filled you with His Holy Spirit.